Welcome back to the Joy of RPG Architect. I am Bob Locke here, trying to help you guys out, learn something new. We're going to play with filters today on our inventory. That's a question that's been asked, and we're going to go ahead and go into it. So, just to show it off, I'm going to go ahead and click this happy little green button right here to play. And we'll see right here. If I open up my inventory, I have a lot of stuff. It's a lot of items. But, let's go ahead and say that I don't want to show this equipment, I just want to show my healing items only. We're going to use some really nice filters. So, we're going to go to our database, open our database, and we're going to go ahead and go directly to our user interface. Well, actually, let's look at our item types first so we have a nice idea about that. That's great. We've got inventory item. We might as well call this healing item, but we'll just leave it as inventory item. You can use whatever you want. It's your canvas. You paint the way you want. We'll go ahead and look at our items. Notice inventory item is zero, sword is three, spear is four, club is five, and so forth. When we go here, healing vial, you'll see not only does it explode a gnome, but the item type hasn't been set. So we'll go ahead and say, that's an inventory item. Say so this is an inventory item. There we go. That's great. That's just a happy little inventory item right there. These are all good. Great. Now we're going to go ahead and look at items, some of the equipment. Equipment type, you'll see this is a light armor. Dagger probably falls under sword, yeah. There's sword again, of type sword. Again, those item types would be item type 3. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. We're just going to go ahead and use our little tool here to click this. Click inventory menu. Look right here. Previously we saw all of our items, right? But we want to narrow it down. So at the bottom here, you'll notice that once we set our context to inventory, we've got filters. So here, I can go ahead and add this filter. If I start typing something, it'll give me some suggestions based on what the context is. It's not always going to be this list. It might change. In this case, we're concerned with item type. I'm saying that I want it to be item type equals zero. These conditions can be anded or ORed. If and, it means that all of them have to be the same, or OR means that any of them can be true. I can add multiple filters, so maybe I want item type to be zero, and maybe I want the, I don't know, is, is item to be true. That might be a good one. Or index, or portrait model, or name. Let's say name is healing potion. That's a terrible one to do, but, you know, we're not going to do it for the sake of this. We're just showing that it's there. This would only show healing potions if these were both selected. This would show if the item type was zero or the name was healing potion. So we have options. All right. And we simply click out of it to close it. There's our filter. Item type is zero. All right. Let's click this happy little button right here. Great. Everyone's feeling real good right now. I'll just go ahead and click this green button up here again. Drag this happy little window over here. Look at this guy. He looks like he's having a great day. That 3D model in the background. Now I want to go to inventory. Because I set that filter, I'm only seeing item types of zero. Yeah? I hope that was helpful. I'll see you next time. This is Bob Locke signing off. Don't forget to go to that beautiful cloud in the sky steam and grab your copy of RPG Architect. Make your own canvas. Paint your own thing. It'll be great. Signing off.